Well, how do the chums design, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I'm back in the old PlayStation, and I'm playing No Man's Sky. Now, when I say I'm playing No Man's Sky, I've already got my Voyager's expedition here. You can see it took me six hours. Well, you, you can see it took me six hours now. I've made it nice and big on the screen. But that's getting deleted. No guess it is. Goodbye. Because you know what? I'm going to do it all again. I know that I said that I wouldn't enjoy doing a second playthrough, but now that there's no blockers, and now I know what I'm doing, I think I could do it quicker, better, and easier. So we're going to be hitting this one up, and we're going to be running this expedition. Now, there's two ways that I could go about doing this expedition. I could, like the actual mission brief says, which I'll show you in a minute when it pops up on the screen, is use my freighter. But it doesn't give you any salvage technologies until really late in game. So you know what? I'm just going to do it by using the portal. Well, I'm not going to be using my freighter. I'm going to use portal because you can get the portal glyphs really early on inside of this expedition. And once you've got them and you get the main objective done, the rest of this is a walk in the park. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be hitting it up super darn quick. And hopefully, I don't think we're going to get it done... Super, when I say super quick, I think it's still going to take about three hours. It's This isn't one to rush. What I would say to get the most enjoyment out of this one and to remove the frustration, yes, use this guide, yes, use the portals, but then the rest of it, just take your time, do an hour a day or something, you know, make it last. I don't think we're going to get another update to No Man's Sky until Halloween. So that's a long time to go. If you've already done everything... Enjoy this. Enjoy it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So here we go. We're now into game. So here we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> I was an alien last time. Now I'm this guy. Sweet. Hello. Yeah, I look like I've got a post box for a face. Oh, it didn't pop up with the whole... Oh, there we go. There's the mission objective. So you see just below me there, the text. So it says there, look. Take your capital ship on a cruise through the galaxy... Each of the rendezvous points to to earn large rewards. So it is encouraging you to use your freighter. So maybe maybe that was what we needed to do, people. Maybe we should have got a scanner installed up here somewhere as early on as possible so we can scan the planets from the comfort of our actual freighter. Last time I went and grabbed a shed load of um, carbon from these, these uh, racks over here. I mean, you can do that. I mean, it doesn't take you long to get carbon from the actual planet, so it's probably a little bit of a wasted exercise, that one. Anyway, people. So the actual badge that we want to get is digging underneath the ground, which is one of these. Is it in phase two then? Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Well, it's one of them. Um, yeah, so you have to just dig underneath the ground anyway. But anyhow, so we're into phase one, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to go down to a blinking planet. It says there to take your ship to a planet, and that's going to pop your first badge. That's going to do that. Then we just need to get a... Oh, my God. Look at that explorer. <laughs> Oh my days! That's got to be one of the smallest explosions I've ever, ever seen. That stopped me in my tracks, didn't it? Let's fly on out and let's uh, fly on down, shall we? We'll just get to the Star Bramble world, I guess, then, shall we? Okay, right. Well, there's a base here as well. We might be able to make use of that. Hopefully it's got a lot of potted plants in it. If it has, then we can pick them. Um, sometimes there's bases if you ch ch check, like, teleporters. It tells you what's at the base. That sometimes helps. Anyway. OK, well, I'm heading down to this base. I mean, it, it might not have anything of interest there. And it's just sheer random chance if it freaking does. Because there is actually a badge to pick some sort of planted plants. And it doesn't matter whose plants you pick. Um, yeah, so um, might be OK if it's got some plants there. It might save us a bit of work. But as I'm flying there, I might as well shoot the planet, get some resources for free. Why the heck not? Lovely jubbly. Lovely, lovely. There you go. Getting loads of carbon just doing this. And you might get other stuff as well, like if you hit the little blue crystals, you might get some heridium and stuff. Now, we are going to need to power the portal, so we are going to need quite a lot of resources anyway. One of those resources is going to be uh, sodium, so we need to pick some sodium plants. We're getting the carbon right now, so that's all good. We also need some cobalt, so I'm going to have to jump into a cave to activate the portal as well. But here we go, I'm just going to touch down at this base over here. Let's see what's here. There might be something useful, there might not be. We shall see, people, we shall see. Heck yes! Oh look, there's a load of plants there for oxygen, so we can nab those. Look at that giant mountain! I wonder if I went to the top of that, whether it would pop the badge for the mountain badge. We can but try, can't we? Okay, there we go, planet side. Awesome. I nearly jumped off the side of there. Let's go and have a look around here, just inside of here. 
Okay, there's not much in here. I was hoping to have a whole load of plants in there. There's not. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to travel up to the top of that mountain and see if it pops another badge anyway, people. It might take me a little while to actually get all the way up there, but there we are. Let's uh, pop that. I should have just gone in my ship, shouldn't I? It's moving on its own. I'm not doing anything. What the actual fudge? Okay, cool. Nice. So we've got that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to get to the top of the mountain. I'll let you know whether it pops a badge. Well, you know what, chums? I'm just going to pick up this sodium. I'm going to fly my ship up to the top of that mountain. I mean, I'm on the, I'm on the launch pad, so I haven't used any launch thruster fuel. So we should be okay to just take one off and fly to the top of the mountain. There we go. I will do the next time I take off, though. Of course. Okay, so let's fly on up there. Let's see if we can land it on this mountain top. Oh, is there a resource there? No, I think that's just coloured grass, isn't it? It's not like a resource. That would have been too handy, because I do need to get myself... Oh, look, there's a bigger mountain over there. Okay, darn it. I'm going to use some launch thruster fuel to fly over to that massive one over there. You see that one? Like a needle nose. That one, it looks higher than the one that I was just on. So we fly to that one. Awesome. And hopefully that's going to pop the badge for being on the top of a mountain. Which, if that's the case, I'll give you the name of this planet right away. Because this was in the starting freaking system. Okay, there we go. And let's jump on out and let's see if this does it. Fingers crossed, people. Come on. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? It's not going to do it. <laughs> Darn it. I wonder if you can just use a terrain manipulator and make the mountain higher. Okay. All right. I guess that one over there is going to be about the same height or something, isn't it? I don't think we're going to find any higher than this. This was this is pretty darn high. Darn it. Oh, well. Well, there are missions as well to scan flora, so you might as well start scanning flora. There's other missions to scan a shed load of fauna, so you might as well scan a load of fauna. But, yeah, I'll be right back. Well, actually... Um, let's see if we can install the terrain manipulator or if there isn't already one in here. Oh, we've got it. It's there. Okay, right. Terrain manipulation time. Let's, um, let's see if we can dig on down through this. Might as well, mightn't we? Okay, that's not working. Dig, dig, dig. Cool. If we make this nice and big, and just dig. There we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Meow. Okay, well, that's doing me a lot of damage, actually. That's probably not the best thing to do. Let's get out of there. Well, let's just jump down here, I guess, then. This is probably not a good idea either. That was a silly idea. This is not the best guide in the world. OK. <laughs> God, I nearly died. Holy fudge. OK. Walk, Steve. Um, you need your shields to come back or else you're going to die. OK, all right, there you go. Lovely jubbly. There's also, we've got to learn the language. Yes. Hmm. Doing this again, I'm just realising just how sort of frustrating this one is. Because we've done all these same badges before in other expeditions. If this is your first expedition, fine. It's a great expedition, I suppose. But for us that have done a fair few of these expeditions, there's nothing really new in this one. Hmm. Apart from maybe finding certain creatures of certain blood types and all that sort of stuff, which was broken... OK, let's make this nice and big. If you make your, your beam bigger by pressing R2, you can dig this out a lot quicker. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to try and tunnel all the way across. Here we are. Let's do this one. Boom. And hopefully it's going to pop soon. There is a badge for this. Which one is it? It's the Fear of the Sun or something like that. Here was alive. Diddle -de -dee, diddle -de -dee. Fear of the Sun. Where are you? Fear of the Sun. There we go. If I get that up, you're going to see how much progress I'm making with this one. There we are. You know what? We could sort of double up on this one. So if I use my scanner and look, see if I can find any sort of Albion pearls or anything like that underneath the ground, or even vortex cubes, that'd be handy. No, nope. not seeing anything. So we just carry on tunneling then. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to call my ship back down. That's going to be fun. But yeah, just keep digging. All right. Um... Oh, fudging heck. Let's put up the other, the other blinking... No, oh, no, I don't know what, what, what. I don't know why it's saying that below right now. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I want to see. My, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I was hoping to see at the bottom, so we can see how close we are to popping this badge. Let's go. Awesome, and we're nearly there. Doesn't take long at all. That's going to give us all of the actual portal glyphs once we pop the badge for that. Perfect. Almost done. Lovely jubbly done awesome there we are we've tunneled so far cool 
Now, I have got all the coordinates for all of the rendezvous and for all of the actual creatures in questions and weird planets in question. So it should be quite easy once we've actually hit on up a portal. But before we go to a portal, we need to get some we need to get some cobalt. We need to get some sodium. We need to have enough uh, carbon or oxygen uh, to power up the portal. So you might as well do a little bit while you're on the side of these planets. So make sure you get yourself those commoditized. OK, what's that? Humming sack. That's what I wanted to see a minute ago. Oh, what the fudge happened there? Okay, um, that's a bit weird. I've never seen a marker go like that before. Hmm, okay, odd. Let's tunnel down to here. This should take us into a cave where there's some humming sacks. And hopefully I can get some cobalt then. That's the only reason I've locked onto it. So we're going to get some cobalt to power up the portal. So that's a nice easy way to find a cave there, people. Just find some humming sacks. They should be in a cave. And I think I just wiped them out of existence. Here we go. We're in a cave. Oh, great. Look, we've only got one bit of cobalt there people <laughs> fun times not the biggest cave in the world heck no it's not all right okay fine well we'll just carry on looking for another cave then is there any other humming sacks in close proximity no there isn't okay well that's how you find a cave i was just unlucky with that one i only got one cobalt out of it so yeah hopefully you're gonna have more luck than i just had also we've got to get some copper while we're here people so i'm gonna go get a load of copper because we need to make a load of chromatic metal so that's something that we're gonna to need too now there we go that's that's the sort of thing we need copper deposit so i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get some copper and i'll be right back with you Okay, chums, when I've arrived, located at my copper deposit, let's get some copper, shall we, people? There we go, lovely, lovely copper. And I can spin that into the chromatic metal. I can also use the refiner duplication methods to duplicate this stuff out if I don't want to spend all day digging up copper. So I'm not really bothered about shrinking the beam and all that sort of shenanigans. Yeah, because I can just duplicate it up, peeps. So here we go. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you know, shrink your beam, find yourself a load of copper, knock yourself out. But yeah, I'd rather save myself the grind. Even if I am saving myself some time, there's only so much of this you can do over a seven year period without it becoming boring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're new to No Man's Sky, this is probably quite a fun, relaxing element. But for me, I've done this like to death. Cool. Right. Oh, so there we are. Done, dilly and done. Awesome. No, oh, there's my ship all the way up there. I'm just going to call it to me. So I'm just going to use this menu. Call my ship to myself. Yes, I know that's going to use some launch thruster fuel and then it's going to use some more when I take on off. Right there. Anyway, I should be able to pop those rewards and I should be able to get all of my glyphs. There's my glyph set. That's what you need to get this started. We're also going to need to find ourselves a portal, which I'm going to show you how to find a portal in a moment, people. Um, yeah, in fact, you find a portal at Rendezvous 3, but there are other ways to find portals, peeps. Okay, right then, chums. Looking at this actual roster of rewards, once we reach Rendezvous 1, we're going to get gifted with 1,200 nanites, which is enough for me to get myself an economy scanner, which would help me find a trading post. Now, the trading post, I can get the trinkets to please whichever race I need to find myself a portal. So I figured we're going to do the whole of Rendezvous 1 the legit way. OK, and then after that, we're going to be using the portal to find all of the difficultest badges. So just progress your way through Rendezvous 1, however you wish. I just want to get to there. I'm not really bothered about popping all these other badges on the way there. I'm just going to get to Rendezvous 1. Okie dokie. So um, first off, what I need is I need to use my trusted method. So to do that, I need to make myself a new um, metal plating. So we go, metal plating, where are you? I just need a little bit more ferrite dust. Not a problem. There's some boulders right around here. There's a boulder right there. Yes, boulder. Oh, no, that one's... Uh, there we are. We've got ourselves some ferrite dust. Let's grab that. Let's just make ourselves a metal plate. Sweet. One metal plate coming up. Boom. Now with that, I should have enough oxygen to make two refiners. So I've put down that refiner. Lovely jubbly. And get myself another refiner and put it on top of there. Oh, no, I don't want to do that just yet. So if I get myself the uh, chromatic metal on the bake, let's just put that in there firstly. Let's fuel this up. Let's put some carbon in. And let's get that done. So I get that done and might as well duplicate the chromatic metal. Otherwise, if I do all the copper, it's going to take me ages to spin it into chromatic metal, isn't it? Lucky I'm switched on today, people. Heck yes. So that's going to take enough for, what, 13 seconds? So, yeah... 
I kind of feel that we can get this done, but I still think it could be quite a long video because this, is a, this isn't a simple expedition by any stretch of the imagination, people inside the viewerverse. Like, no, it's not. So let's head on up this. Take that out of there. I'm just going to stick it over into the other side for now. And all I'm going to do is get another one of these, put it directly over the top of this one. Hold on. I did have metal plating. I just crafted a metal plating. Where did my metal plating go? Oh, OK. All right. I guess I had to use that for the first freaking one. All right. Well, I'll go zap some more rocks and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. There you go. Power of Edison and that. I just shot a load of rocks. Let's stick that on top of there. Chicka pow. Then when I pick this one up, and pick that one up, should get twice as much of the, uh, the chromatic metal. Put it down again. Oh, yep. Need to go put the chromatic metal back in again. Chromatic metal, where are you? There you are. Stick that in there. And then go stick this on top. Lovely jubbly. Chikapow. And pick it back up again. Boom. Boom. Now, technically, I have got this that just got gifted to me. And it's worth 300 nanites. I could duplicate that. Get myself a load of nanites. And get myself the economy scanner right now if I wanted to. Which would be the super quick way of it doing it. But it's a super cheaty way of doing it. So... Up to you. You can do that method if you want. I'm just going to get to Rendezvous 1, though, the proper way, and uh, get the nanites there. Okay, so I just need to craft myself a nanotube so I can make the hyperdrive. So let's make that. that. Chikaboom. And I should be able to then go over to my starship and put in the hyperdrive. Chikapow. Oh, actually, we need to make the microprocessors. That's why I needed the nanotubes. So I'm just going to make one, and I'm going to be using that duplication technique to make myself the other five. So there we go. Let's head on over to there. Put my microprocessor into here. Chicka boom. And then I'm just going to be putting the refiner on top of the refiner, like so. And then just picking it up. I mean, you can use more than one refiner if you want to speed this up massively. Uh, but yeah, I haven't got the resources at the moment, so I'm just going to do it the way that I'm doing it right now. Microprocessors in there. Chikabow. One of those on top of that. And then pick it up. Boom. Chikabow. Right, so I've now got four or five. Just need to do that one more time. Probably going to have a little bit of an abundance, but it doesn't really matter. I can sell some if I need to, or keep them for future. There we go, put that in there. And that on top of there. I think you get the idea, people. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Done. We've also done that with the cobalt as well. So I've got a fair bit more cobalt now, people inside of the view of us. And we can get the hyperdrive installed. Where is my starship? Now, oh, there we go. There you are. And we're going to have to make some fuel for it. So we need to make some antimatter. Make two of them. And I'll make some antimatter housing, which I'm going to need some more ferrite dust, aren't I? Yes, and I need some oxygen. Right, leave it with me. Okay, right, so I want to duplicate a little more. So I've put down one portable refiner. And let's go on over here. Let's put a portable refiner in the portable refiner. And then I should be able to make another portable refiner if I had enough oxygen and put it on top. So I just need a little bit more oxygen. So you know what, let's take out that portable refiner for a second. Cool, go back in. Put in a little bit of oxygen. So I've already got 25 at the moment. Chicka boom. Get this portable refiner, put it on top of that reportable refiner. Chicka pow. Pick it up. That should give me the oxygen I need. Sweet, we've now got 50 oxygens. So if I put down this portable refiner now, open it up, grab one of my other portable refiners, because I've only got two at the moment. So there we go, put that in there. And then get this portable refiner, which I can now build now that I've got enough oxygen. Put it over the top, like so. Chicka pow. Pick that one up. I should get given twice as many portable refiners. There you go. I've now got four of them. <laughs> put that down. Boom. And then if I put in the oxygen, which is 20 oxygen in there, hopefully when I get this refiner and put it on top, I can just keep doing that now. Boom. Get another one. Bang. And another one. Bang. I don't think I've got any more. Nope. That's it. And pick those up. That should give me a load of oxygen now. Sweet. 
ship out. We've got a load of oxygen. Right, I need to do that with the ferrite dust as well, I think. Boom. I mean, I could go shoot a load of rocks if I really wanted to, couldn't I? But, yeah, might as well stick that in there now. I'm surprised Hello Games hasn't patched this out. I mean, they've, they've just fixed some bugs. They've probably seen people doing this so many times. I, I honestly don't think they mind. Okay, right, there we go. Did I put the ferrite dust in? I did. Sweet. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Dundly and done. Oh, fudge and heck, what just hit me? Oh, there's a whippy plant there. More oxygen. Thank you very much. Chikapow. Nice one. Right, so now I just need to make myself some of that warp antimatter housing. Oh, did I put the other stuff inside of my starship? I did, didn't I? Where is my starship? It's in close proximity, isn't it? That's... That's a capital ship. Oh, okay. I've lost my freaking starship right in the open, people. How the fudge does this even happen? There it is, right there. Okay, I can see the tail end of it amongst those rocks. All right, well, we're going over there. I craft the actual warp fuel, and then I'm going to... I'm going to duplicate the warp fuel, people. Yeah, I think you know the drill. Okay, well, I've got my antimatter. Oh, yep, I'm going to make my warp fuel, just times two of it. Chikapow. And then I'm just going to use my refiners. Bing, to make a shed ton of it. Okay, now you, you can invest as much time into doing this as you wish. You can have as many refiners as you wish, you know, if you want. You could really mount this up. There you go, just stick that in there. Boom. Chikapow. Chikapow pow. Done, dilly and done. Let's grab those. That should give me enough warp fuel to get myself to rendezvous one. Excellent. All right, well, let's uh, let's get that dulled in then. Rendezvous one. And let's set off. Let's set a course, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Awesome. So if I wanted to, I could have petted some creatures here. I could have probably done a few more milestones here. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to get to rendezvous one. I'm just going to show you how to get yourself to the point where you can find yourself a portal of your own. That's pretty much what I want to get to. And at that point, you know, it, it's fairly easy from then onwards. So I'm going to show you how to get the hardest of badges inside of this expedition. So then you can just take a chill pill and do whatever you like. Okay, cool. So here we go. Let's um, let's jump. Did I? Oh, I didn't fuel my freaking hyperdrive. Okay, cool. I made the blinking stuff, but I didn't fuel it. There we go. Put that in there. Let's now let's go into the galactic map. Let's do that again. I'm probably going to use all four getting there. It's going to take me a few jumps, I think, people. There you go. Ron Ashley is going to take me two jumps. Jump there. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, well, we just popped a badge for our first warp jump, so we might as well claim that one anyway. So that one sort of happened, sort of independent of the others. And it's given us a base computer, which is pretty cool. Right out. Next off, and we're jumping again. Somebody actually asked in my comments, I can't put down a base computer. How do I do that? Oh, well, fudge and heck. It looks like I've got to do another jump, get people. All right, I'll see you when I get to rendezvous system. Okay, so I've arrived at Kated. Now we're looking for Rendezvous 1, which is over here, apparently. And on this little marble over there. I think one of the creatures can be found inside of this system. I think it's the Thunderfeet one. I think. Let me just have a quick look on the old uh, um, Discoveries page. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I'm getting mixed up. It's all good. We will find them all, don't you worry. It's like Pokemon, isn't it? Okay, well we've arrived at Kated near to Rendezvous 1. It has locked onto a base nearby that has Runaway Mold, which is another way to get yourself the Nanites, but hopefully we're going to have enough Nanites anyway just from going to Rendezvous 1. At the moment it's flying extremely slowly and it locked onto that base, which was quite a fair few years away from Rendezvous 1. It says that it's going to take me, what, 30 seconds to find Rendezvous 1. I'll be back with you once I get there. And would you look at that? Someone's actually managed to put a base right by Rendezvous 1. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, well, here we go. Let's touch on down then, anyway. In fact, there's another base there, too. There's two bases right by each other. They must have used that glitch method that got put out a little while ago. Hecky pecky, unless they're owned by the same base owner. So, they got that one there, and that one right there. Okay, nope. Different base owners. Mm, okay. Fair enough. Right up. Let's leg it on into Rendezvous 1. Pop the badge. Get the nanites. That's all I'm bothered about. Awesome. We got it. Sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Expedicione. Claim. 
Chapow. Done, dilly, and done. And it's the nanites that I wanted in this case. Sweet. Okay, we've got a few of these to put in. Nice. Cool. And we've got some multi tool expansions, ship expansions. Lovely. Awesome. Right, next step then, people. Next step. We need to go up to the Nexus and get ourselves the economy scanner for our ship so we can find a trading post. I mean, yes, you can use navigational data and get yourself some chart maps, but we're going to need chart maps anyway for um, finding ourselves our portal, which really I should have gone in each of the stations and looked for those because now I've left it down to sheer chance. Oh well, well let's go into the old Nexus and uh, yeah, if we have to go back to other stations, I have to go to other stations. Yep. Okay, let's fly on in. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and where I get the economy scanner from is from this guy. Let me just check that I haven't got one already in my starship. No, I definitely haven't. That's good. Hello there, matey. Yes, I'd like your economy scanner, if I can, please. Research ship upgrades. And it's just there, the economy scanner. That's the one you want. You don't even need the conflict scanner, so that's all good. We need a couple more microprocessors and some wiring looms. Well, we can go to the station and buy those. I haven't actually set boots on the ground in a station, so I don't think it's going to have the station in the teleporter up here. So I'm going to have to fly to the station. So I'll see you in the station, people. Well, I've arrived at Coated inside of the station. Now, I haven't got a great deal of units, so I don't know whether I'm going to be able to afford to buy the microprocessors, but I have got a couple on me which I could duplicate if I was on planet surface, but I'd rather not have to go back out into space again. So to install the actual economy scanner inside of my ship, let's start the actual building blocks for it. Let's stick it down here for now. Boom. Wiring looms and microprocessor. I need one wiring loom and two microprocessors. Let's go see if I can afford to coat them. Yeah, I've got a lot of units. Okay, yeah, I can't afford that and I can't afford that. So sell. What can I sell to get some up? Uh, we could sell some of those salvage data, I suppose, but I don't really overly want to if I can help it. Hmm. Uh, right. Okay. Well... Can I actually craft some more microprocessors? So I need some nanotubes. Let's see if we can craft those. Two more of those. I've done that. But now I need to be able to afford the wiring looms. And you know, you can't construct wiring looms. There's not much I can craft that I could sell to get myself some monies. Let's go back in. Let's see if I can sell something else then. Sell and how much are they? By the 83,000. So if I go to sell 83,000. OK, let's see. How many do I need to sell to get 83,000? I need to sell two. OK, I can deal with that. All right. Oh, sh shite. I exited the menu and buy and I buy one wiring loom. There we go, people. That should do the trick. Now I can get that installed inside of my starship. And, you know, there are some badges to talk to all the locals. So while I'm here, I could talk to all these guys up here and hopefully pop one of those badges. So, yeah, all you do to actually pop that badge is you interact with these guys and you just go to request dialect help. There we go. Lovely. Call back symbol. Fuck yes. And you do that with every single person up here. And hopefully you're going to get a little bit closer to completing that milestone. OK, so now I need some nav data. Hopefully I'm going to find some inside of, say, this little puck here. Yes, we've got one navigational data, but we could do with a handful of these. Well, quite a lot of them, to be honest. And there's another one there. Come on, let's grab that. Um, it's not letting me. It can be really finicky to get these things to trigger, especially when they're not the cubes. I'm going to give up on that one. There's a cube over here. Nice one. Let's go pick that one up. Navigational data, please. Yes, sometimes they will give you nanites. Even though you hover over them and it says navigational data. I mean, look, that one's not interacting either. It wants to interact with the chair and not this puck. So the puck, sometimes I think they, they might be busted or something. I have no idea. Okay, let's run around. Look, there's another one there on the counter. We'll grab that. Brilliant. We're doing well with this navigational data. We've got a fair few. Well, I'm going to increase my um, capacity with my exosuit if I can afford it, which I can't. Okay, we've also got one for our ship. We've also got one for our multi-tool, so I might as well get those done. Upgrade Starship. Boom. Apply Augmentation. Yeah, I can go there for now. And then there's one for the multi-tool as well, so I might as well stick it in there too. 
Sweet. And then I'm going to check the back room to see if there's any storage, well, not storage slots, navigational data's out here, because sometimes there can be some on a little table inside. Yes, look, there you go. There's one on a little table there. Let's um, try and get that. Brilliant. Navigational data. We've got a fair few. I'm going to grab some nanites out of here because they're free. And then I'm going to run over to the opposite side where there's a cartographer. And we can get some cartography maps. Now we can duplicate those maps on the planet's surface if we really wanted to, to avoid the risk of not getting ourselves a monolith. And from the monolith, we're going to be getting ourselves the um, uh, portal directions anyway. Oh, look, there's one more right here. OK, so they can be purple, blue or pucks. And sometimes they might give you nanites. I got extremely lucky with my haul there, people. Let's go and swap those for alien maps is what we will need. Hello there, my friend. Okay, so here we go. And exchange for specific charts. And I want the alien ones, these purple ones. So I'm going to go for, I think I've got five now, haven't I? Yes, I've got five. So I can get five of them. Brilliant. Awesome. Now, if I take my ship and fly on out, I should have the economy scanner installed now and operational and usable. Okay, well, let's fly on out. Let's see if there's any planets here that have got something useful on for the actual... Um, exploration brief anyway so discoveries so we've got this one here i'm looking to see if one of them might have something on there like um the bones the bones or something uh, i don't think they have there's no ancient bones here no so i might just go to the ringed planet it's a paradise planet we'll go to the little ringed one there we go we go there let's fly on down to that awesome on our way Okay, once you actually breach the atmosphere, you should be able to use your economy scanner, like so. And it should find a trading post. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Exactly where I flew in, there's a trading post and a colossal archive right next to each other. You've got to be joking. That's just crazy luck. I didn't even need my economy scanner, but, you know, we did. We used it. Sweet. Has this got mountains on? Yeah, I don't think they're high enough, though, to pop the badge that we need in question, people. So here we go. We've arrived, Decated. Actually, that mountain is fairly high. It might work. Righto. Awesome. Anyway, now that we're here, we need to buy some trinkets off of the locals that are landing. But as you know, I haven't got a great deal of units, have I? So I don't think there's much I can do in the way of units on my person for stuff that I can sell at the moment that's worth a lot apart from those which I could duplicate a heck of a lot of them, I suppose. Yeah, I could duplicate a lot of them and sell them. Mm, OK, we'll do that. All right, so here we go. Let's get that, put that down. And uh, in there, I want to put in a load of my salvage data. Salvage data, where are you? Nice thing about these is you can spin them into nanites or you can spin them into units by selling them. So, yeah, kind of handy to have a stack of them. So let's put that there. Oops, that's slightly off line. Let's see if it still works. Usually I'm quite precise with these things, so let's see if it works just slightly off kilter like that. That'd be interesting. Boom, boom, and boom. And yeah, seems to still work. Okay, well, we'll put that down again. And I'll do the same once more with the salvage datas. So we've got a stack of 30 now. There you go. And let's uh, do that once more so we can get a load of units. Wow. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. One thing's for certain we never give it. Nom, nom, hand in hand, we all do together. Bum, bum. Here we go, here we go. Let's go and sell some of those then. So, yeah, I don't need a lot of them, so let's just uh, take a load out for a second. Bum, 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 bum. I will keep 50 to myself, I think. And we'll sell 100 of them. Kapow! There you go. We've got a lot of units now. Sweet. Right, so these guys should land here in their shifty ships like... Oh, that's my ship up there. Where's it? The... Oh, no. Because I'm near to the actual um, Colossal Archive, I think that's Nick the ship spawn. So I think the ships are actually landing over at the Colossal Archive and not landing here or vice versa. Maybe this planet's a little bit broken, people. Maybe. Darn it! And blast it! All right, I'm going to get some freebies while I'm here. Might as well, might I? Here you go, and have that. Thank you very much. And we'll open these as well. Lovely and lovely. Sometimes these give me what I'm after anyway. So let's open this. 
We can take that. That can spin into ferrite dust. Oh, we've got a microprocessor. Not what we need. Oh, there we go. We've got a guy. We've got a guy. Hello there, guy. Offer, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, offer to trade. And I want to buy Viking Effigy and Viking Dagger. There we go. That's what we want. Might as well get some launch thruster fuel while I'm here. Why the fudge not? There we go, people. Nice one. So now what I'm going to do is put down this. Just in case we get a problem with the maps. Normally, I, I find them within five. It's usually not a risk. But just in case, you know, I'm making a tutorial, so might as well do it without the risk. There you go. I'm going to get an abundance of the things now. I do. And let's pick them up and hopefully get a load of maps. OK, so now we need to pop these until we get a monolith. It's probably going to be the first one now. That I've got a big blinking stack of them, isn't it? Let's see. Come on and see what we get. Ancient monolith. First one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fudge. Been the lucky badger today, people. Lucky, lucky me. Okay, right, well, let's lock that in then. Chip out. And let's go back to my ship. We've got enough jetpack fuel to get up there, I have. Let's go, let's go. Sweet. I'm flying over. And where's my monolith? There's my monolith. I guess. So, it's going to take me 10 seconds to get to the monolith. Not really worth doing a cut, is it, at this stage? Uh, yeah, because it's going to give us the exact location of the monolith. Well, that wasn't far. Pretty nice. Touch on down. Now, really, if I was giving you sound advice, I would say do this outside of a rendezvous system, so you've got your portal all to yourself. But, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Cool. Now, these knowledge stones are going to give me some extra words. I could have spoke to all the Viking inside of that trading post as well. So now you've got your economy scanner. It's really easy to learn all the words of the races. Oh, there we go. Popped a badge for that already. Might as well do the last one. Sort it. Cool. Yeah, so if you are in a GEC system, go visit their trading post. So the economy scanner works for a lot of reasons. Sweet. Awesome. Here we go. And... Okay, I'm just going to stand back. Done this enough times to know what you do and don't do on these places. There we go, we've got the Atlas word. Now if I interact with it once more, it's going to ask that I locate a portal using the Viking Dagger. It could have been the Effigy. It could be either or. But there we go. And that's located a portal somewhere. It pointed over this way. But there's base markers and all sorts all over the blinking place. So who freaking knows where it is right now? It's somewhere. It should have found one. Or it might not have. Hold on. Maybe I should have turned off my multiplayer on this. Oh, it's already turned off. That's okay then. Uh, it must be there, but it's hidden behind another logo or something. Okay. Well, let's take on off and let's fly around and let's see if we can find the blinking marker. Uh, yeah. I really wish we could do filters on the actual markers that we see on planets, people. Because it's... um can be a little bit tricky to find what you're after if there's a lot of lot of markers here and it could be that somebody's already put a base at this portal let's go and find out shall we people flying round i think i've got enough cobalt i think i've got enough carbon but on the way to the portal i'm just going to shoot the ground a little bit more get some more of these basic resources that you need to charge up the portal i might have to go and grab some more sodium from the sodium plants because i haven't got a lot of that but yeah let's uh, let's start shooting some planet boom there we go, we've got a load of carbon doing that. Could do a little bit more other stuff though. We could do with some more. Oh, I've got some cobalt. I've got some cobalt. We might be all right. It might just be. Oh, look, there's there's a sodium there. There's three plants there. Hold on, there's a stack of sodium right there. You see it? That big crystal. That's um, that's some awesome sodium there. Let's grab that if we can. I might be able to do it with my mining laser. All right, cool. Well, we set it down here. And I'm going to be putting a base here and claiming this portal is mine. Heck yours. Yeah, I'm putting down a base computer. It's also going to pop another badge anyway. So we might as well do that. Here we go. Put that down. Sweet. And we've got our own portal, people. So let's put the base there. Chicka pow. Claim that. Claim base. Meow. Cool, yeah. People, if this is helping you out, Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. I am trying to reach 2 million subscribers um, by the Tuesday just gone. So, yeah, help us out. Hit that subscribe button. It will do us a favour. No end.
Awesome. Well, we got that there. I might as well put down a few base parts just so I can make this uploadable. Might and I. Well, let's uh, let's build a little let's build a little shed, shall we, people? Here we go. Ah, didn't mean to put that down there. I was changing my camera view. Okay, uh, delete. Sweet. Okay, put that there. I'm just gonna make a little little shed. Sweet. I do. And um, we need walls. Um, L2, 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 L2. I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing now. Right, I, we put a load there by accident. Right, let's go into the menu. Where's the walls? And we need a door as well. Let's put a door on this thing. What the fudge? How comes it? Okay. Um, right, uh, I just want a timber door if I can. Seriously, I need ferrite dust. When have you started needing pure ferrite for a freaking door? That's new, isn't it? All right, fine. I'll have a timber arch then. Sod the door. Yeah, open to the elements. It's a shed of shedness. Yeah, I, 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 I don't remember that ever needing to have pure ferrite. That's weirdness. Okay, it should pop in a moment with a badge because you don't need to put down a great deal of stuff to get this to work. We well, didn't used to. All right, well let's put on the corners of the the roof then. Let's make it look a little bit swanky, shall we? Pow. Pow. I like to use stairs in between. Oh, great. I need pure ferrite to use stairs in between. Dang it. Okay, well, we're just going to go for ferrite dust then. One more. Just there. And then one on the roof. Bingo. Done. There we are. Home cam in. That's done. Right, well, we can upload this base now then. I get rid of that on the screen, letterbox view, upload base, chicka boom, done. There's my little shed base right by a portal. Now, if anybody did come here, they wouldn't see my base because it's too close to a portal, but it doesn't matter. At least I've got a base here. Heck yours. Thumbs up, people. Right now, so if you don't want to do all that stuff with getting the charts, if you just want the coordinates, if you know how to follow the coordinates, they're just above my head right now, but it's very hard for you guys to see them because of that logo that's in the way. Let me let me see if I can get rid of the logos just for a second. So there you go. I'll read them out for you anyway. It's plus 7.64 and plus 164.42. Okay, cool. I'll put my logos back again. There you are. Righto. Lovely jubbly. So... Um, I don't think we've got enough resources to activate the portal anyway, but uh, you can see. Let's have a look. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum. And if we can do this, then I'll be showing you all the locations to get the stuff from, which would be pretty darn sweet. And you can pop all the hardest badges right away. OK, so I haven't got a lot of sodium. I think I need to get myself some more sodium before I do this. So where was that sodium? It was just as I was flying in. Let's see. There it is up there. I can see it. Let's take a walk up there. Let's get that sodium quickly, people. And while I'm going there, I might as well scan a few of these creatures, mightn't I? Boom. Get that one done. There's some trees as well. Might as well scan those. So there's a lot of scanning missions. There's a, there's one to scan something like 20 odd creatures and underwater creatures. So there's a lot to be scanned anyway. So if you see any creatures, make sure you're scanning them. There's one there as well. Pow. Uh, another one over there and get him as we get that one too lovely okay right well let's start hoovering up all this stuff advanced mining laser required for that stuff dang it okay well we might as well just get some sodium plants then there's one over there we did see three on the way in didn't we and i ignored them all right well i was gonna go pick a sodium plant i'll show you what one sodium plant looks like so here we are, over this way, somewhere. Where'd it go? It disappeared on me. Fantastic. Okay, well, we're going to get the condensed carbon anyway. I think that was up by those pumpy plants on the hill. Need advanced mining laser for that, but we can get all these little ones. That's all fine. Scan. And it's not showing me any sodium. And it's probably going to troll me with that so that, that sodium plant wasn't there, was it? But there we go, I can see one on the hill over there. It's glowing. Okay, cool. I head on over. Okay, people, I've arrived located. There's my sodium plant. Boom, pick that one up. Nice. Might as well zap that pumpy plant, get some more oxygen. And scan this little guy if I haven't already, which I have. Oh, look, there's a few whipping plants there. Let's let's get those done. 
I wonder if getting to the top of this hill pops a badge. We'll just venture up here just in case it does, but I, I, I very much doubt it, people. This doesn't look as mountainous as the, the one where I popped my badge originally. Oh, hello, guy. You know what? I'm going to recruit you. So, yeah, we, we've got to adopt a couple of these creatures, so I might as well adopt him as a companion. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And you know what? We'll adopt this one as well. So if you adopt two creatures, you can pop a badge too. So I uh, might as well do that one too. And then interact with him. And adopt companion. Yeah, both of those are quite lovely companions to have, aren't they? Done. All right, so we've got those as companions. I'm at the top of this mountain, and it didn't pop the badge. There are higher mountains in this planet. So I guess you could try them if you wanted to. I'm not overly fussed. Right, well, I'm just going to put down this. Boom. And I'm going to put a load of sodium in here now. Just in case we haven't got enough, because that doesn't look like enough to me to activate a whole portal. It might have been, but just to be sure, I want an abundance. Here we go, boom. And boom. And once more. There you go, hopefully you guys have got this down to a fine art now. Yeah, that was just close that time. That wasn't bang on, was it? So, you know, it does work. Right, well, let's get back to the portal, and then we go and activate it. Okay, people, I just claimed the badge for having the adopted creatures one, and I didn't bother installing the actual technology slots, so it should have given me the technology slots somewhere. Hmm, I guess it hasn't. So, yeah, I was going to show you another sort of glitch, but no, it doesn't seem to have worked. Cool, yeah, anyway, I get to the portal. Okay. Here we go. Let's start activating said portal. There we are. Dehydrogen. Lovely. Oh no. I haven't got any of these resources. Activated copper, idiom, copper. Darn it. Blast it. I went and turned all of my copper into freaking chromatic metal, didn't I? I don't think you can turn it back again. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, right. Well, it looks like I'm going to go on another journey to get myself some blasted copper. Um, in yeah great fun salt deposits um salt deposit oh for fudge sake seriously 600 years away is there anything closer oh i can scan that bird sorry i got distracted easily 600 years right well it looks like i'm gonna have to go and get some copper people i'll be right back with you just to save a little bit of time though i'm riding on my creature look at me go heck yes run like the wind little creature oh i've run out of stamina on my creature but he runs so funny it's so cute there we go let's do it again run like the wind there he goes dang it run there we go he's he's kind of running i think that's fast mode yeah there he goes there you are Meow. coolio i'll be at that copper in no time well, I've arrived at Kated at the copper. Let's use a terrain manipulator. Grab a load of copper. Lovely, lovely copper. And I, I could duplicate this out just in case I need some more. Yeah, let's just make it big and let's just blast it out of the ground. Let's just get as much as we can with a little bit of terrain manipulation as we can because we're nearly out of juice in my terrain manipulator. Chicka pow. Lovely. Let's get out of this hole. And we'll be heading back to the portal in a moment, people. Oh, look at that. There's some, there's some more more sodium just there let's just grab that quickly might as well sweet and let's put this down why is it not letting me put it down no editing permission i must be on somebody else's base right now all right cool well we're heading back to the portal then people oh and you look at this right near to my portal it looks like there's a load of oxygen plants just here just sitting in the wild free for my pickings Heck yes. Awesome. Don't mind if I do. Loads and loads of oxygen. Sweet. It's quite rare in this um, expedition and we need a lot of it. Well, you do and you don't. If you're, um, you know, sort of duplicating stuff like I've been doing, you don't need a lot of it. You only need one bundle, really. But it's, it's easier to duplicate a whole stack than to duplicate a little to make a stack to then duplicate, if you know what I mean. All right, let's just grab all of this. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. There's loads of it. Awesome. Okay, right, I'm close to my portal now. It's just around here. Run like the wind. Okay, right, well, I just duplicated my copper. 
How much copper do you need for this anyway? 16 each time, that's okay. Okay, right, let's put in some oxygen, some sodium. Let's just go all the way around, get this activated as quickly as we can. Lovely jubbly. And we're going to be going through the portal, finding what we're after, and then coming straight back through the portal. Hopefully we won't have to reactivate it each time that we're going to be hitting up another portal code to get these badges done. So I'm just going to show you how to get the most difficultest of badges done. And why is that one only 85? Why is, why is 75? What the fudge is going on there? Okay, is that all of them? There we are. Done. Sweet. Oh, I need to get my first code, don't I? So I'm going by a Reddit portal guide, and I put the full guide inside of the video description. So here we go. We're going to go for the hardest one first, which is corrosive blood, people. So yeah, I'll be putting full credits to this guide inside of the actual... Um, Video description. Okay, so activate portal. I want a double birdie man bird bird. Boom, boom. And a Sunday set, followed by a waypoint. Next four, I want one of these triforces, a whale or a fish, a waypoint, and a reflexione. Boom. And I'm going to need the next four, which is a boatman boat face, an eclipse, a dragony fly. Last one is a Reflexione. Okay. Boom. There we are. And there's a couple of corrosive blood creatures that we can actually scan, but the one that we're looking for has got two bulbs on his back. He's like a bioluminescent badger type looking little git. Yeah, so let's go on in and let's go and see if we can find him on the other side of this portal, people. Okay, well I've arrived, okay, I did. Discovered by Phoenix. I think that's the person that's actually wrote this actual guide out. And you can see here. Oh, look, actually, Blue Expanse visited a blue star. Freaking awesome. Heck yes. That's another badge popped then just by coming here. Okay, and we've gone through the portal travel, so we popped that badge as well. Lovely jubbly. And uh, let's see if we can find the creature. It just takes a little while to spawn in. That's not him over there. But um, we can scan that anyway, actually, that's a plant. There's a creature behind the hill. Let's go ahead and over here. Let's see if we can see what creature it is. We'll check the caves as well to see if there's any vortex cubes here. Oh, oh, he's a dangerous one. I wonder if I zap him where I get the... Um... Yeah. Oh, no, that's corrosive blood. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's laser him. Let's laser him in the face. Okay, because he was quite a dangerous creature. Look, there's another one there as well. So that's a, I, I, I got him, that corrosive blood. Corrosive blood, it works just on, on these guys. So, yeah, there, there was supposed to be a badger creature here with bulbs on his back, but I just managed to get the badge zapping that one, people. So there we go. Corrosive blood done. So let's go into phase two. Corrosive blood. That's a, that's a done. <laughs> corrosive blood is now fixed, people inside of the view of us. Heck yes. Awesome. Right oh. Well, uh, ooh. Look at that, there's a there's quite a large fauna over there. I wonder if that would count as largest herbivore. Probably won't, but uh, we can give it a go. Oh, largest herbivore. Uh, it's not tall enough, it's not over the seven metres though. Okay, sweet. Well, let's go back through the portal then, and we'd hit on up the next portal code. This is awesome. This is far easy. Okay, well, I'm back at my portal, and next we're going to be hitting up the hunter killer, which is the predatory fauna. I'm surprised that didn't pop the badge with that one that I just mangled, to be honest. I mean, he was pretty bitey, wasn't he? So here we go. Let's go on in. It must be a certain type of predator. Who freaking knows? But anyways, we're going for an eclipse. Chikapow. A Sunday set. And a reflexione. And a waypoint. That's your first four. Next four. We want one of these triforces. A fish or a wellyman. Well, well. A waypoint. And a reflexione. Chikapow. Last four. Boatyman Boatface. Chikapow. An eclipse. An eclipse. Lovely jobs. And a dragony fly. And a reflexion. Chikapow. Lovely jubbly. We'll be jumping in. And this is going to be for Hunter Killer. It should arrive us on planet AS S3. Yes, it's in the starter system, apparently. So, yeah. Cool. I don't remember getting mine in the starter system. So that's news to me. Let's go on through. Again, we've arrived. 
Let's see if this one says discovered by Phoenix as well. No, it's discovered by Hello Games, of course, because it's a starter system. All right, well, we might as well scan creatures while we're here anyway. We're just waiting until one lunges at us and tries to attack us to tear our face off, and then we'll shoot it in its face. And then, yeah, hopefully pop a badge for murdication. Look at us. All right, well, let's have a look see if there's vortex cubes in here, shall we, people? Subterranean relic. I think that might be a vortex cube. Heck yours. So let's head on in. Let's see if it is. So this will give you the vortex cubes as well on this planet, people. And hopefully you're going to find them in this cave, just like I did, at the opposite side of the portal. So take a little look, see, and see if you can see one. OK, so I've got three of the vortex cubes. Any other vortex cubes in close proximity? There is. I mean, I could have just duplicated them, to be honest, people. But you know what? If they're here in the wild for pickings, we might as well go pick them, mightn't we? I mean, we're, we're here. Oh, bloody heck. There's a whole load of them. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Yes, please. Sweet. We get all of them. I guess we've got the whole family of vortex cubes. All right, well, let's get out of this cave. I mean, I could blast my way out of this cave, just dig my way out. But, you know, let's just um, venture out past these roots and back out the actual gateway we came in, hopefully, people. And uh, let's see if we can find this cheeky little creature that wants to bite us. OK, we've got the vortex cubes. Holy fudge. I got... I got hit by something there. Planetary, most toxic planet. Nice. Okay. All right. Fine. Let's head on over here. See if we can find the creature that might want to bite our face off somewhere. All right. Let's have a look around for creatures. 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 I was hoping it would come and find me. You know, being all bitey and that. Well, it hasn't got ancient bones here as yet, so that's another badge that we could pop. Or find in a treasure. We could just go to a relic site to get the treasure, though. There we go. We've got 14 species of creature nailed as well. OK, well, might as well carry on scanning some creatures anyhow. Pow, pow. We haven't done any of the underwater creatures yet, or any of the underwater missions. But you know what? They're not too difficult to do anyway. So, yeah, might as well scan some flora while we're here. Yeah, I was hoping to have been attacked by now by a creature. OK. OK, well, there's some markers over here. Let's go that way and see if we can find this bitey creature over here. Where are you, bitey creature? OK, he doesn't look too bitey. Then again, this one looks like it's moving quite fast. I think that might be our predator. Just from the way it was moving, people. Yeah, that's him. We scanned him. Now let's shoot him in the face. Yes, hunter killer. I'm going to kill you, hunter killer. Oh no, he killed me! <laughs> no way! Seriously! Was I using my terrain manipulator on him or something? Because he just took me out like that. Freaking heck. Okay, um... That's new. Shite. <laughs> oh great, my scanner's now critically bloody damaged. You're having a laugh, mate. Seriously? Oh, dang it. Got to get some ferrite dust. All right, well, where's my grave marker? He better not kill me again. Well, at least I got my badge. <laughs> oh, dear. I freaking died. OK. Um, yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, normally they don't. I, I usually say, oh, yeah, there's not much to worry about when it comes to predatory fauna and evil fauna. I'm actually a little bit nervous going back to get my badge, knowing that he's in close proximity right now, people. Oh, ooh, what's that? Fecium. Oh, we don't need Fecium, I don't think. We might do later. We might do later if we want to plant our own plants. Oh, shite! He's coming at me, people! He's coming at me! You know what I could do? I could throw out a creature pellet. Have that! Oh, no, I haven't got any! Oh, no! He's coming at me! Oh, no, I'm going to upset the Sentinels, killing him as well. Get out of it, Sentinels! I'm, I'm doing the world a favour. This guy's a murderer. He just killed me. You did nothing about that. OK, right. Give me back my blinking thing. There we are. Now I need to get out of here before the... Oh, no, the Sentinels are going to freaking try and murder me now as well. Holy fudge and ori. Let's get back through this portal. I'm not liking this place. I'm not liking this place one bit. OK, run like the wind, Captain Steve. I, I need to get my scanner repaired as well, but I don't even want to stay here for the freaking ferrite dust, mate. Oh, I might have some ferrite dust now that I've got my grave marker back. Uh, so let's see how we get on when we get down here. Oh, look, we just popped that badge for walking. Heck yes, one foot in front of the other. We got ourselves a badge. Nice. Let's see if we can fix this. Chikapow, we did. Nice. Well, we'll get back through that blinking portal. Let's just get out of here, because this is a 
freaking horrible place. Oh, look, there's another cave over there. So hopefully you're going to get yourself your vortex cubes, people, inside of the viewerverse. Wasn't that fun? Let's head back through there then. Boom. Okay, well, I've arrived at Coated, back by the portal. Hopefully it's still activated in a roundabout way. I want to put in another code. So let's run around and let's go and see if we can stick in another key code to another location to pop another badge, people. Awesome. Sweet. Why is it not popping out of the ground? What the fudge is going on? Is it broken? I've, I was already just over at the other side just a second ago. This is a bit weird. Why is it not working anymore? Come on. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's new. Uh, maybe it's because I died on the opposite side. Let's just jump in my ship out of my ship and let's um, do a reload and see if that fixes it. This is new. Never had this happen before, people. How random. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, right. Let's um, do a reload. <laughs> Can't believe it. Ah, oh, there we go. I just saw it. Oh, it just went back down into the ground. Let's hope it comes back out of the ground. Let's see if it's working now. Come on. No. Oh. It's not working. What the actual flying fudge is going on there, then? This is the most randomest thing ever. All right. Well, let's go through this way and let's try it on the opposite side of the portal. Shouldn't work, though. Okay, people, well, this is weird. I've just got to the opposite side, and the portal works from this side now. The side of evil. Yes, the planet that killed me. It's probably because I died at my planet. Now it thinks that this is my, my portal. Oh, I've got to activate it again. Am I going to run out of blinking resources on this hellhole? Please, no. Uh, if it sends me to go get a load of freaking copper, that won't be good. Come on, let's make sure we can get all the way around this. Fully activate it this side. Oh my days. That one only went to 10%. Let's try to condense carbon. There we go. How weird. Okay, that's never happened to me before, people. I very rarely die. Yeah, that's um that's and that's new to me that people. That was um every procedural bug. There we go. Every bug procedural. There we are. We're we've done. Okay, cool. Right, now let's get my next code. So we've just done hunter killer. We're now going to the deep freeze portal address. So this should give us a really cold planet, people. So here we go. Activate portal. Let's put this one in. So we want a double budgie or pigeon. Chicka boom, chicka boom. And a sunset. Followed by a rocket. That's your first four. Next four. Triforce. A voxel or gem. Uh, one of these like little doohickey things. And a reflexione. And the last four, Boatium and Boatface, an Eclipse, Dragonfly, and a Diplom Doe. There he is. There we go. We're going in. This should take us to a nice cold planet. Grab your jacket. Yes, because we're going to get chilly. And hopefully pop a badge as soon as we arrive on the other side. I'm not going to have enough storage space for all these badges that I've got to claim. All right, jump on in. You know what? I'm going to do this episode of all the hardest to get badges, and then I think I'm going to do a follow-up episode of the, the easier ones. Okay, we're at the opposite side. And there we go. Discovered by Phoenix. Thank you, Phoenix. And Deep Freeze. Done. Dusted. Heck yes, it is. Right. Okay, well, that's that one. Well, I guess we go back through then. I don't think there's anything to be had here, to be honest. What the fudge is that on top of that hill? Oh, okay. Will you count as being the tallest herbivore? Because you're freaking huge. Largest herbivore? Mm, no. I don't think it did pop the badge. It's not over seven metres. I'm surprised that's not over seven metres. It's freaking massive. Alright. And you can feel the actual ground shaking from here. So Let me look at him. That's got to be over seven metres. Alright. Maybe not then. Well, I'm going to scan some budgies anyway. Alright, cool. Now well, that's um, funny, isn't it? Right, let's go back through the portal. Bow. Okay, well, I'm back at my portal. It's not my portal. This is where I freaking died. Okay, but here we go. You know what I mean. We're going to be hitting this up anyhow. Hopefully it's still got juice in it this time. Sweet. Activate portal. And we're going to hit up and up another code, people. So this one is for the unwelcomed badge. So this one took me bloody ages to find, and it was Scottish Rod that helped me out with this one. But this looks to be Phoenix's own find. So Boatman Boatface, 
We got a sunset or sunrise. A TP or a week one. And a diplet. Followed by the next force. Tripos. A whale or a fish. Waypoint. Or a hot air balloon, as some people like to call it. And a reflexione. TP or wigwam. An eclipse. Where are you, eclipse? There you are. A dragon dipla. And lastly, another eclipse. Sweet. Let's jump on through. So this is for the unwelcomed. Activate the Monday. Chicka pow pow. Chicka boom boom. We're heading on in, people. We're heading on in. There we go. Running backwards. Zoom. Health and safety disregarded. Okay, well I've arrived at Katie by all these lovely comms balls. It seems to be that quite a lot of people have been here. There we are. Hostile world plus portal. Heck yes. We're done. Back through the portal. That was super quick, wasn't it? Yes, thank you. Last milestone. Now I'm finished. I've got a little way to go yet. Okay, well I've arrived at Katie back again. And let's go do another one of these little portal codes, shall we, people? Right oh, Awesome. I mean, there's even the codes for the rendezvous points inside of the actual guide that I've put inside the video description. So you can just jump straight to all the rendezvous points and not use any of your warp fuel. So there is that. Um, I, I probably will do that in the next episode. For now, I'm just going to cover off the hardest to get badges. And in the next episode, I'll do all the easier ones. So here we go. Next one is Hot Blooded. So this was causing people a bit of a headache as well before the patch. Hopefully it's going to be working now. Diplo, Sunset. Had a rocket and a dragony fly. That's the first four. Next four, Triforce, a Wellyman Wellwell, a uh, Waypoint, and a Reflexione. Last four, Voxel, boom. And we want an Eclipse, dragony fly, and an Eclipse again. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And we're heading through the portal once again. Look through the portal. Ooh, let's through a portal like this. Let's go and find out, shall we? Boom. Oh, look at that. I just got a new subscriber. Thank you. Derek Lindsay has just subscribed. Well, thank you very much, Derek. Okay, well, we've arrived, Kate, on this opposite side of here. Hottest temperature. Okay, well, now we need to find the hottest blooded creature upon this planet. So let's see if we can find that. Okay, so we scan this little dude. I don't know what the creature looks like on this planet, so I'm not 100% sure what we're looking for. But look at this. My hazard protection is taking a freaking beating and a half, people. This is not good. Okay, let's fly on up here. Let's see if we can spot this creature lickety split and quick. Hmm. Okay. Buried technology modules. Okay, fine. Ah, and it looks like there's storm crystals on this. No, they're not storm crystals. They're gravitino balls. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try and get this creature freaking scanned quickly. Pterodactylion, scan. Damn thee. I need to top up my hazard protection on this planet, people. We've only got two of them. I used my sodium. Not that I wanted to. Okay, there's a creature over that hill. Um, I could do with maybe duplicating out some more of the hazard protection stuff, though. Because we're going to be running out super quick. Aha. It won't let me. I haven't got no editing permissions. There's a base here. All right, fine. Let's just head on over yonder hill then, and let's just see if we can make it. Oh, this is going to be tight, isn't it? Okay, I don't think the Mission Impossible music is helping me. I'm going to die at this rate, people. Okay, let's see if I can top that up with some more sodium. Okay, let's scan this guy. Oh, he looks quite tall. He's not quite big enough, though. Highest body temperature, but it's not pop the badge. What about this cow-looking git? Go on. You know you want to. Okay, what about the you? The little guy over there. Okay, um, largest herbivore. I don't think we've done it yet. There's another one there. Are you going to pop the badge? Come on, matey. Ah, there's a rock that I blank in scanned. Scan. Pretty fudge. Okay, try him instead. Okay, now try that one. 
Has that done it? Don't know. Okay, let's go and have a look. Hottest blood, where are you? Have we done him? Rendezvous. Wonder projector. It's not there. I'm wondering where it might have popped up in between. Hot blooded, hot blooded. Hooves of thunder, no. Hot blooded, where are you? Hot blooded, hot blooded. Hot blooded, there it is, there. We haven't quite popped that yet. Got to get one over 60 degrees. Oh, at least the storm's passed. Okay, so how many creatures are there on this planet? Discoveries. 7 of 10. Uncommon on ground derineal. Ground, okay. Right, there's a couple more ground ones to be found. So it's got to be somewhere around. On the ground! All right, well, we've got all oh, subterranean relics. So, yeah, if you haven't got your vortex cubes, it looks like you can get them here as well anyway, people. Just keep going then. I might as well get myself some sodium. That's a good idea. Let's scan for sodium and see if we can pick up some more sodium plants just in case another freaking storm comes in while we're running around. Hmm, okay. Oh, hello. Would that do it? There we go, hot-blooded, we got it. Awesome, we can head back to the old portal now. Which would be where my ship is, which um, I'm not seeing my ship marker at the moment. Ship marker, ship marker, where are you? Oh, for fudge sake. There's too many bases. Oh, there you go, I found it, it's over here. Worry adverted, people. Sweet, so we've got the hot-blooded one. So now we just head back to the portal, and hopefully we're going to be good. Hit on up the next code. This is going pretty swimmingly, to be honest. I'll see you back at the portal, people. Just looking up there, do you think that mountain's higher than the mountain I landed on previously? I kind of think it might be. I'm, I'm in two minds, whether to fly up there and see if it pops the badge. Hmm, is it a mountain or is it... I don't know. Uh, let's just go back through the portal. I think we'll be okay. I don't think that will pop the milestone, to be honest. Right, well, we're back at the old portal. We need another code, so Hooves of Thunder. Let's go and hit up Hooves of Thunder, and this is going to be the last one I do, and then we'll do a part two, I think, people. So here we go, let's go and hit up Hooves of Thunder. I might just go up to my freighter after all of this, and, um, yeah, just pop all the badges, pretty much. So, because then it'll put it in my freighter storage. So we've got a Diplodo, a double Reflexion, and we've got a Diplo, uh, one of these triangular thingies. We want a fish. Chicka bow. And a waypoint. Chicka boom. And a reflexione. Last four. A beetle. There it goes. And an eclipse. Dragony fly. And a reflexione. Chicka boom. And this one should find us the hooves of thunder. And this one apparently was found by you chicken egg 10. Cool, yeah. well, let's jump on through then. And this is planet FCAD. I think I found it on FCAD as well. Yeah, I, that rings a bell. Okay, right, well, we've arrived located on this lovely planet. And it's discovered by Hello Games, so it's in one of the rendezvous systems. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm fairly sure it's in one of the rendezvous systems. Yeah, FCAD. There we go. I'm not too sure which one this is, but yeah, there's probably a rendezvous site nearby. Okay, now the creature, if it's the same one that I scanned, it's like a giant crab creature. I think I found this in one of Scottish Rod's videos. Or did I come by it by chance? I can't remember now. There you go, let's scan that. There he is over there. I see him on the hill. He's massive. There you go. chick -a Got him. Excellent, eh? Highest herbivore. And you know what? I might as well call in my freighter. Chicka boom and we go up there we claim all of our awards and i think that'd be a decent point to actually end off so let's just take on off to the sky and fly on up to the actual freighter meow Chicka pow oh I, I pulsed right past it there didn't i oh fudge dang it all right let's uh let's call it out there then oh there's one more badge i could get while i'm in this blinking asteroid belt you got to shoot 40 asteroids so here we go let's just shoot 40 asteroids very quickly before we go on my freighter Nice. Easy peasy, this one. Dum dum dum. 
Oh, just don't shoot any of those ships. Oh, for fudge's sake, I shot a ship, didn't I? What an idiot. There was a guy mining the, the, the asteroids and I shot him. He's going to be doing my head in now, trying to shoot me. Righto. Get out of it, mate. I'm not interested in you. I'm, I'm shooting asteroids. You just got in the way. You're nothing special. Like, no. Dum dum dum. Shooting this. He's only in a little shuttle. I don't think it's going to cause me any problems. And again, I, I say that. I'm in a, I'm an explorer. It's got no wings. It's a flying tin can. It's almost like a coffin in space, isn't it? This thing. Right, here we go. Shoot these. Lovely jubbly. I don't know how many I've got to actually do. But how many I've got left to do, I should say. It's not going to take long to shoot 40 of these. Not in this sort of density, anyway. He's doing me a fair bit of damage. Bless him. There we go. Let's shoot that one. Meow. Meteorite that one. Or a rocket. Nice. Pow. Come on. Any second now. It should pop the badge. Come on. Nice. Maybe it won't pop the badge because I'm actually being attacked at the moment. Yeah, that's probably it, isn't it? Let's spin this around then. Let's just go on board my freighter. Is that my freighter or is that somebody else's freighter? Oh, for fudge sake. Don't say I'm going to have to attack him. I don't really want to have to attack him. Okay, my freighter's somewhere over here, according to that radial map at the top. There it is. There's my freighter. My capital ship. Let's just fly on in and see if the badge pops, because I think I did 40 asteroids. I just think it's not registering because I'm in battle at the moment. So hopefully that would negate the battle landing in here. And uh, hopefully the badge is going to pop. Otherwise, I'll just get that next time. There you go. Stardust. I knew it had. Sweet. Okay, right. So now that I'm actually in my freighter, hopefully popping all these badges will put them all inside my freighter inventory. So let's, uh, let's go into the other menu. Let's go into Expedition. And let's start claiming these. Boom. Sweet. We've got movement modules. Nice. Expedition. Oh, we can't do that one yet. We're nearly there. So we've got to learn some Gek words. Hunter killer, done. Expedition. Deep freeze. Sweet. And let's go down to here. Phase rewards. Lovely. Holy fudge. This, this has made it far easier has to be said so thank you very much phoenix v guide yes, expedition growl words like i say the link in the video description is to that reddit guide and it's also got all the rendezvous in there so if you want to go hit up all the rendezvous before the next video then uh, please do um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just polish off the rest of these badges in the next episode and they're gonna be super easy to round up but I've already done a guide on pretty much a whole playthrough, so if you are stuck on any, you can look ahead at that if you really want to. But hopefully I'm going to have the video up in the next couple of days, but this is this is far easier. Even if speedrunners could probably do this, I need to see how much editing I've got to put into this to pop all these badges and all that sort of shenanigans, but far easier than when I did it before. And I must say, probably just as much fun. In fact, it's taken out all the frustration and tedium. And now the badges that are left are probably the more fun ones anyway, people. So, you know what? I, I probably don't even do it, need to do another part. I'm going to do it anyway, just for something to do inside of No Man's Sky. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good, people. So there you go. We're pretty nice. I mean, we've got to find, like, um, a, an Eternal Garden with a 19% Quantarant or whatever it is. We've got to find that one. And we've got to go get all the Xenobiology. So there's still a fair few to do. We've still got to scan a shed load of plants, which I could have been doing all this time, in all fairness. But there we go, people. The rest of them are quite a relaxing jaunt, to be honest. And I'm sure you can find coordinates, if you do get stuck, on Reddit or any other portal repository for that matter. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's make myself a little bit larger on screen. So, yeah, going to end off now, peeps. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's just um, part one of how to do the expedition. Hopefully this is going to fit under an hour, unlike my last videos. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.